hi there students stagnant lethargic and apathetic okay so stagnant we primarily use to talk about water when water doesn't flow then it loses the oxygen dissolved in it and it becomes smelly and rather disgusting that is stagnant water okay a stagnant pool yeah okay so something that's stagnant is water that's not moving and it goes bad because it's just unmoved it's unoxygenated okay but we can use stagnant to talk about for example an economy um or a company or something like that this is metaphorically used to say there is no activity there is no vitality it's not growing so if a an economy is stagnating notice stagnant is the adjective to stagnate is the verb if an economy is stagnating it means nobody's buying anything people aren't buying the products that the companies are making and if the companies aren't selling then they don't invest in new projects they don't buy new stock so it has a knock-on a subsequent effect a knock-on effect okay so that means that their other businesses have uh, are becoming stagnant as well so there is no flow of money a society could become stagnant um, where no I new ideas are coming in and nothing ever changes it's always the same okay so stagnant to stagnate um, this comes from Latin the Latin word stagnum which talks about a pool of standing water yeah the sort of place you might find mosquitoes Mosquitoes love stagnant uh, water. Okay, so stagnant to stagnate with no motion, completely inactive, no vitality. So stagnant is talking about movement, renovation. The next word is lethargic. Okay, lethargic is when you feel really slow and you have no energy so for example if you feel ill if you have a cold then maybe you feel lethargic yeah you're not full of vigor and interest and uh, enthusiasm you just don't have any energy for anything so notice lethargic is the adjective lethargy is the noun okay so if you feel lethargic it's slow you're sluggish you don't have the energy to do something so if the economy is stagnant it's not moving at all if it's lethargic it's moving but very slowly it's very sluggish okay sluggish the slugs like a snail that moves very slowly okay so um you feel lethargic in the morning when you wake up and then maybe you drink your coffee and the lethargy goes okay this comes this word comes from greek lethargos which means forgetful i'm not exactly certain of the link between the two i guess if you're you lack energy you don't think about the things that you're supposed to be doing and then finally apathetic okay an adjective again the noun is apathy if you are apathetic you don't care about things yeah you're not interested yeah you just don't care it's all the same to me so apathy is uh, uh, characterized by indifference you just don't care what happens yeah if it's a blue one or a red one you just don't care so for example you could have political apathy 
There's no point in voting because even if you vote, nothing changes. All of the po political parties are the same. They're all corrupt, so I really don't care. It just doesn't interest me at all. Yeah? Okay, so notice as well, you can feel apathy towards something. So people are apathetic towards politics. Maybe you go to work on a Monday morning and you feel really apathetic towards your work, yeah? So if you're apathetic towards your work, you're not motivated by it, you're not interested in it, you don't really want to do it, but you've got to do it, yeah? So you put no enthusiasm, no emotion, no excitement into it, yeah? Somebody who's really excited, yeah, 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 is the opposite to somebody who is apathetic. Yeah? Apathy the noun, apathetic uh, the adjective. Yeah, so it's a bad thing to feel apathy for life. People who are depressed feel apathy. They just feel sad about everything and uh, they don't feel emotion or excitement about the things that most normal people do. So what about the origin of this one? This one comes from Greek. A, the A, without, and pathos, feeling, yeah? So without feeling, you don't feel any emotions. Okay, what about formality? Let's see, I would say stagnant is a neutral word. Uh, maybe slightly on the formal side, but it's a neutral word. To stagnate, maybe a little bit more formal as a verb. But both of these are good words to use when you're writing. You can say them as well. You could use it in a sentence while you're talking to your mates in the pub. Lethargy and lethargic. Again, I would say this is neutral, maybe slightly formal. Yeah, I think a more informal way would be to say without energy, yeah, without energy and interest for things. And apathetic, yes, neutral, maybe, maybe a little bit more formal than all of than the other two, yeah. If you feel apath apathy, yeah, it's slightly formal, but very good for your for your writing. Yeah? So when you're writing, these are good words. Stagnant, lethargic, apathetic. You could use these to describe a, a character or a country or a situation. Yeah? So, stagnant. This talks about lack of movement. Yeah? Lack of ventilation or, oxy or, uh, or oxygen in the system. Lethargic. Oh, just no energy and apathetic I just don't care yeah so apathy is when you you're just not interested yeah you don't feel any strong emotion about the things that people normally feel quite strongly about okay so there you go three interesting words for you to use if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon bye for now stagnant to stagnate, lethargic lethargy, apathetic apathy. Bye for now.